will never I said I will never take the black pill I will never take the black pill never take the black pill never take the never take the never take the black pill no I'm never taking the black pill, baby. I've been through so many hardships and so many gangster struggles, all right? I'm like Young Jeezy, man. I've seen it all outside of drug dealing, of course, and that kind of gangster life. But I've seen it all, and I felt it all, too. You know, I felt rejection. I felt what it's like to get played by friends, so-called friends, uh, so-called people I trusted. You know, so-called everybody. I know what it's like to feel played by women. You know, played by you know, played by people you just think and thought that you know will be with you to the very end. I know what it's like. But one thing I never did was ingest that hate. You know, I never, I never took that black pill and just said, "Fuck it, I'm done for." Never. Uh. Uh. I never did. Why? Because I knew that I was meant for much more. I knew I was meant for greatness. I knew without a shadow of a doubt, you know, damn, this camera, this is a good ass camera, man. It's, it's darker from my point of view. It's darker than what the camera is actually showing. Like the camera is lighting the road up. Like this is a phenomenal camera. iPhone 15, if you must know, but in the spirit of such things, I'm across the street. Like, quit. But in the spirit of such things, you know, I never took that black pill and just said that, man, life is, life. I never accepted that my life is over with and assigned myself to categories, assigned myself to, um, you know, statistics. And I never did that. It's so easy to do it, but I always rejected it. Why? Because I knew that the fire inside me burnt brighter than the fire around me. I just knew it without a shadow of a doubt that these things that I'm dealing with, these hardships that I'm facing, they're temporary. They're like the seasons. It's like if you look at a big tree like this one right here, the leaves will fall and sooner than you think, they'll grow again. It's like these past few years. Right? Haven't you noticed in these past few years that, look at this car. Boom. Haven't you noticed these past few years how the seasons change so ferociously? The summer goes into the winter, you know, or the fall to spring. I don't know the correct terminology. Okay, sorry. I don't. Well, not the correct terminology, but I don't know the, the correct phases. But I just know that the, the seasons change. We're in March right now. And there are days when it's hot, and then there are days when it's cold, like how it is right now. It's cool. But it changes, man. Your feelings change. The way you think changes. And with me, you know, I've, I've stayed the same. I've gone through some heartbreaks. I've gone through some, uh, I've gone through a many trials and tribulations. I've, I've had to stare down the barrel of a gun, you know, metamor, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, simile metaphor, metaphorically speaking, and in actuality, you know, I had to stare down the barrel of a gun and deal with these things. But I came out on top. You give me, you give me. I came out on top, and that's what I'm gonna do now, man. That's why I'm pushing this gold pill because the gold pill will save you. 
and, the, and you're probably like, why haven't you made a video in so long? Are you worried about that guy? He constantly keeps running. Well, why would a king worry about a peasant? <laughs> when the European kings were ruling in Europe, France, Germany, Britain, whatever, you think they really care about the, the peasants they had to deal with on a daily basis? The Japanese emperors and shoguns. Do you think they cared about what a peasant thought and felt? Hell no. They cared about themselves. And honestly, what I have to gain by bullying this guy, like I actually feel conviction when I talk about him because I know he's I know he's mentally inept. I know this guy is mentally retarded. You can see the way, by the way he talks. You can see by the way he moves, his eyes, his lips, the way he twitches. You know, the way he he stutters, he drools when he speaks. So it doesn't feel like a worthy opponent. It feels like you, it feels like how a person steps on an ant pile. That's exactly what it is. Nothing. So with this gold pill, man, I'm not trying to get incels to self delete. I'm trying to save y'all. And with this gold pill, you're gonna realize that the challenges in front of you are gonna mold you to become way better. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna make you a better person, a stronger person, you know, a, a greater person. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna make you so damn great. You're just gonna be like, my God. You're gonna look at the past and be like, holy shit, I fucking did it. You know, that's what the gold pill is. You know, it's a building my mom used to work at. But that's what the gold pill is. It's about accepting, hey, these are the faults. This is where I fucked up at. And that's how I'm gonna get better. You, know, you don't have to be at the very top or be financially ready. You have to be mentally stable in your mind because you can have all the money you want. You can have a, a stable job where you living in your truck, driving all fucking day. If your mind's not right, how can you do anything? You're like, you know, you're building, if you're, if you're trying to continue all your life and your mind is fucked up, your mind is fucked up, your mind is just trash. It's like using a, it's like using sand as a foundation for your house. If you, if you build your house on, on sand, it's gonna fucking, it's gonna fucking drop. That's why you build it on rock. So, you know, you gotta get your mind right, man. Get it right completely, or somebody else will. But that's all a real nigga gotta say for right now with this gold pill, man. Use this gold pill for protection. It's a hard road to heaven, and we fall on protection. Let's get it.